You know what's in this bag, right? More stuff to review. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Doobage42, and it is time for Tuesday Reviews. Got some great things in the little kitty bag of doom today. Let's start breaking them out and see what they are. Hmm. The first thing I want to talk about today is this little guy. It is the Alme The Complete Look, and this one is in the shade Light Medium Skin Tones 100. It's one of those sort of all-in-one palettes, which are great in theory. I have a few sort of nitpicky technical problems with them, okay? I'm gonna pop this guy open. First of all, you get a little tiny mirror, which is helpful. You can like do your eyes with it and stuff. And you get these itty bitty teeny tiny tools, which I only kept to show you in this video. Little brush, little lip brush, little eyeshadow thing, and look, I have ginormous hands of doom. Those little tools, not gonna work for me. Although, those little tools may be the only thing you can adequately get the product up with. Ugh, that's my main technical problem with this palette. These are lip pans here, two there and two there. They're, you know, shiny lip things. They're kind of creamy. And as you can imagine, as you may not have been able to see in the video, anything else powdery is just going to land right in those suckers. And that's what happens. Um, I use some of the eyeshadow a little bit a couple of times. They're nice neutral shades. Nothing spectacular. Doesn't knock it out of the park or anything. But they'll do the job. Couple little swatches for you here. I'm just going to grab the three dark ones. Get a little, little rubbage there. See it on the fingers. Close this so I don't dump everything out. And yeah, whoop, that first one didn't even show up, did it? Not very dark, not super pigmented, but like I said, they will do the job. They kind of blend out real, fairly nicely if you've got a decent brush, but they're for, good for neutral looks. If you're traveling and you want to take one thing with you, yeah, but you gotta deal with stuff in your lip pans eee. and <laughs> bringing other tools because I cannot make these little guys work. This is supposed to be a blush brush. You see how, look how little that is. Compared. I would use this size on my eyes, okay? Or maybe on a highlighter. But just to show you, the blush in this is very, very light though. It's a little powdery, which you know, you can expect some fallout snap that guy shut again because I don't like getting it all over myself and we'll put a little bit up here with the blush it's a very light color you can build it up I was able to build it up some but even on my pale face that is just not very dark it's good for a natural sort of blushing look does it suck no not really is it something that I would go out of my way to purchase again probably not the little lip pans are kind of nice. They're not super opaque. You can build them up a little bit, but they're, this whole thing is just good for a very neutral, not very made up makeup look, but it will fit in your purse. Hmm. Something a little bit more exciting. Oh yes, glitter. Y'all know, I like my pink and purple and I love glitter. Don't always wear it, work in an office environment, and well, you know, I'm a little loud and out there anyway. I've got multicolored hair, which sort of disturbs the upper management, but they deal. Um, I'm just me, I wear loud lipsticks, and well, yeah. These little suckers though, kind of awesome. First, let me tell you about it. They are, and they come in many more colors than this. This is Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I bought these because someone had left some coupons behind there, buy one, get one free. And who am I to turn down a damn bargain like that? They're about nine bucks a thing, and I wasn't gonna spend that. But two for nine? Mm, I was feeling it that day. I am wearing the purple stuff today. I'm gonna take off my glasses and come closer so you can get a really good look at what it does. Glasses off. I think the camera's still over there. See that purple? It is intense. I actually kind of love it. Um, 
the glitter stuff it says to use as a liner. And I have used it as a liner, not really happy with that. They say you can use it on your lashes too. I'll show you the applicator in a minute. But I decided to put some on my face. Can you see the glitter on the cheeks? This is highlighter of a different level when you use it this way. I told you I was feeling glittery, see? I have glitter on my lips too, but not this stuff. Glasses back on so I can see the world. Get out the purple one. I'm gonna put the gold one down. First off, the eyeshadow. The directions say, uh, put the eyeshadow on your lids first, let it dry, it is a cream eyeshadow, and then use the glitter side for liner or on your lashes. I decided to adapt. First though, this stuff, it doesn't suck. This is a very creamy eyeshadow. I'll give you a live swatch here so you can see what I'm talking about. Woo. And as you could tell from when you looked at my eyes, this has been done now for probably 45 minutes. It still looks nice and a little glowy and very, very purple, true to color from the, uh, the container. Love it. I love that shade. The gold one is just as gorgeous. Yes, I'll swatch it. Gold, coppery looking stuff here. Ah. That's really pretty. The glitter is fun, okay? I'm gonna open up the gold one and show you the applicator. It's actually a little brush. You don't know that when you pull it out because it's so covered in glitter. Now, let's give it a little swatch. It goes on kind of gloopy, like you might imagine, because, well, it's a bunch of glitter in a little bit of a gel. But when it dries down, that stuff doesn't move. That I had it on my hands because, you know, I was messing around and smearing it around a little bit and realized, oh, when this dries down, you get this nice little layer of just light glitter, which is what I did with my cheeks. That's why I decided to smear it on. It's not thick or chunky on the cheeks. You don't even feel it. It's not moving around. And yes, I used a spritz of setting spray afterwards like I always do with my makeup. But what fun. You just want a little bit of glow, a little secret something that you're wearing to freak out the natives or whatever. Put a little glitter on your cheeks. They'll kind of catch it, corner of their eye, go, wait, what's that? Kind of fun, if you ask me. Would I go out and buy these again? Not without a coupon. You know, I am a bargain hunter. Hello. But these are fun. I can see wearing these for a fun night out, really doing a big look with them. I did sort of a, yeah, I'm going to be out and about, but I'm not going to be partying kind of look. I mean, it's just a random Saturday afternoon that I'm recording this. But if you really wanted to glam it up, I think you really could with these. And you could use these with other shadows to make a really huge look. Because I was not going to put purple over my entire eye all the way up to my eyebrows. That's not happening. But oh, look at how these dried down. Nice. That makes me want to wear this with something warm and golden soon. Soon. Doesn't match my hair, but I don't care. To me, I look at myself and my hair grew out this way. That's what, it, that's what I feel like anymore. But yes, glitter is fun. I always like to end my little kitty bag of doom on our super positive note. This time, it's something that I've been using freaking constantly lately. Elf. We all know Elf. They put out some great products at some really good prices. This is the Elf Powder Contour Palette. Pop it open. As you can see, I've gotten about down to pan on the lightest shade. Um, but I use this almost every day. Yeah, sometimes I go back for my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Palette but I really like this hello. And also I know if I run out of this, I can get another one for six bucks at the local store. Um, the colors are nice. If you've never tried an e.l.f. contour palette or e.l.f. anything, give them a shot. It's hit and miss, depends on what works for you. Um, 
For the contour shades though, here's, make sure what I'm looking at here because I'm looking at it from a different direction. This little guy is the one I use most of the time for my contour. You put it on there and it blends really nicely. Gives you a nice sort of neutral, taupey, shadowy look. This one is more bronzy in color. I'll put it up here. Kind of hard to see. I didn't get a real good swatch of it. Let's go in for more. Just a nice bronzy color. Here's a more creamy light shade that you can highlight with without it being super white. It actually shows up on my skin as sort of a creamy color. And then my favorite light shade. We're going with the pinky because that's clean. Look at that. You really do get good lightness out of that guy. You blend all this together. It makes for a nice look. And like I said, it's super inexpensive. Um, especially contour noobs. You never try it. You think, oh, that's only for the young Instagram people. No, it isn't. Give it a shot. You don't have to do that crazy stuff that people were doing in videos a year or two ago when they draw stuff on their faces and blend up. No. It can be light and neutral and natural. I don't super contour. I try to give my face a little bit of a hint of a cheek. I'm round. My face is round. It has always been. That's just the way I'm shaped. This kind of gives me the illusion, especially when I'm doing pictures, if I really layer it on and build it up. But just for an everyday look too, this is kind of cool. And I've got a brush with it too that I bought separately. Um, that's pretty awesome. I might talk about that when I talk about all brushes in another episode. So what's your favorite? Did the Kitty Bag of Doom have anything good for you? You're going to go out and get some glitter now and wear it because glitter is awesome. I think you should. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see some more reviews, go ahead and click up here. If you want to subscribe, which I hope you do, click down here. Please like before you leave. Leave me a comment and I'll be happy to see you in my next video. See ya.